I was pretty young. I was about five years old and I was not one that dealt well with the summer heat in Texas. So we found something indoors an ice rink, so I really enjoyed that. It was, I never really got to see snow. So being able to see snow and ice was something that was really cool to a five-year-old in Texas. And I kind of just took off from there. I had helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, and I was just flying across the ice, and it just stuck. Please welcome to the ice, Amber Glenn. I'm a little nerdy. I enjoy comic books, anime, cosplaying, a card game called Magic the Gathering. It's a little obscure, but if you know, you know. Just trading and collecting those kind of things. I have a dog named Uki. I love her so much. She's so cute. Please enter a photo if you can. Love her dearly. And honestly, just spending time with friends and family is huge for me. Obviously, I can't train as much as I did when I was 11, 12, 13. I have to manage my time really well. I have to make sure that I'm taking care of my body and my mind as best as I can. And part of doing it at my age is making sure it's something that I still enjoy, something I get satisfaction out of, and I still do. So just taking care of my body and mind is really important. U.S. Nationals was a whirlwind of emotions. I mean, to go out there and know that it was in my grasp to be the champion was something that I had never really felt before. And after the short program, having such a great time, being in second, being the highest I had been after a short program before at Nationals was exhilarating. And to land the axle and the free skate but then have it kind of slip away from me in the second half and lose that focus was devastating. I tried to keep my expectations in check. And when I heard that score and I heard that I had won, I just lost it on national TV, which is uh, a little embarrassing, but it's something that I'll never forget. I'm approaching the season with the mental side being my focus. Of course, I have obvious goals like meddling at both my Grand Prix. This year I'm doing triple axel in both the programs uh, and just overall trying to stay consistent. As someone that's been skating for almost 20 years, I've had tremendous highs and very low lows to where I've had to take a step back from skating to prioritize my mental health. But I've also had these highs that are gonna be highlights in my life. But I always make sure that I know that I'm more than just my skating, I'm more than just my successes and more than just my failures, that I'm a person who has people that I love and that love me, and to just make sure that that's at my core, and that kind of keeps me in a good direction.